So this is a um, what do you call these uh, infographics? Yes. Um, so this is an infographic made by a gamer. Uh, says soaring neutrality. So this person allegedly um, plays uh, Genshin Impact. So this is from an actual player. And so what he did was he broke down all the predatory um, mechanics within the game, right? And yeah. so this is a big discussion point among Genshin Impact, Impact players because they like the game. You know, don't get me wrong. They, they, they play the game. They enjoy the game. But they're noticing that there's too many predatory practices. And if you read through this Reddit, you'll see a lot. Like, look at this. There's 23,000 upvotes on this post. So th it obviously made an impact, right? Yes. Um, uh, a Genshin impact. Yeah, a Genshin. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you'll see a lot of the comments are people are saying that they play the game. But if somebody asked them if they should get into it, they would tell that person no because of this, because of these these uh, predatory things. So let's take a look at them, and then we can kind of discuss. Okay. So icebreakers. Um, these are good deals. Starts players spending more likely to spend after. So I assume this is like, uh, you know, when you when you buy you get a cell phone game. And they're like, get a starter pack. You know what I mean? And yes. it will give you this, this, and this. So I mean, I mean, I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a cell phone game. It's a gotcha game. It is. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just the gameplay is completely different, and it's on more powerful hardware. But the yeah. the actual like meat and potatoes of the game, in terms of its currency and gotcha system, is very akin to anything that you'd find on a cell phone. And the game is on mobile. Oh yeah, forgot. yeah, yeah. The game, the game. I, I, I personally have not played it. Just <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Full disclosure. I, I played it when it uh, first came out on PS4. Yes. And it is a beautiful game. It, it really is. The, you can tell the game was really well crafted. But anyways, let let's get back to the issues that at that are uh, with this game. Multiple currencies, harder calculations distances real money from games so this is a strategy that a lot of um gotcha games use where instead of just having one currency that does one that does everything they put multiple currencies that do different things and the reason they do that is because it confuses the player uh into not realizing how much money they spend so it just kind of like confuses people and then they're like, crap, I need this currency and then this currency. And then before you know it, they already spend a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a really predatory practice. <laughs> yes. No, yeah. I, um, I can see it. Um, so uneven purchases. Want to buy once? Too bad. 160 equals one wish. 60 equals 0.375 300 equals 1.875 and then you get the picture right so yeah no it sounds it sounds very difficult to calculate yeah so the the, the way that they sell these genesis crystal crystals for wishes um they it's not this is how many wishes you get you get you get a certain amount of wishes and then you get a fraction of a wish which leaves a little bit of currency in your thing that you can't spend, therefore creating like a psychological prompt to buy more. And also, we can point out this bonus. See how it says bonus plus whatever? Yes. Bonus, whatever. That's also another... Uh, it's a selling point. Selling point, yeah, to, to make people buy it because they're like, oh, I can get this, you know extra yeah exactly yep so dude we're we're like halfway <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot in here all right so habit formation reward daily gameplay login becomes routine so here you can see they have a daily check-in and um uh up here you can see replenished in and it lets you know and then fully replen now this is very common with mobile games they want to keep you coming back, so they reward you for having a. Uh, it's it's you know what it reminds me of. 
you know when you go to like uh like a frozen yogurt place and they like they take your card and they like stamp it okay it's like that except for if you miss one day you go back to zero oh no 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 of course yeah i mean yes no i agree yeah uh i i, I i've i'm no stranger to this yeah um progression four options skill luck grind and pay skill based games make less money grind keeps players so if you look here the skill is not highlighted right which means that skill plays the least amount in here luck plays a little bit higher than skill and then grind and pay are the two biggest uh factors for progression in this game either you play a ton or you just buy it so <laughs> um that's yeah uh that's a big issue with these types of games all right scarcity missing out limited time this is fomo mm. fear yep. of missing out right yeah so <laughs> what a lot of games do is especially games with like battle passes They'll be like, <laughs> all right, you get all this awesome stuff in this battle pass, but you have to finish it in, you know, eight weeks or else it's gone forever. And then it it forces the player to play like, uh, like a madman. You know what I mean? Yes. And so this is what they're doing here. They're saying, hey, you want this? Well, you got to get it now or else it's gone forever. It's fear of missing out and it really plays on humans' um, uh, fear, pretty much. And it makes people more aggressive in, in pursuing this item, right? Yes, yes. So that is a huge predatory practice. Uh, okay, social proof. Normalized spending, content creators, whale abyss runs, name cards, avatars. So this is when a company will, for example, do you remember uh, when, um, I'll, I'll, I'll bring this up. So do you remember when uh, the game Ark, uh, where you like tame dinosaurs and stuff like that? Do you remember that game? Yes, but I was about to say, you don't even have to go and choose a different game. Like literally, I follow a couple of content creators, you know, who will actually post like i spent two thousand dollars trying to hunt a specific character in genshin impact alone yeah yeah so okay that's a great example so, yeah so 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 no i've seen a lot of like youtube and and here's the thing the, uh, a responsible content creator which the ones that i've seen have done this they'll be like do not do this yeah i'm not i'm, I'm not encouraging you to do this yeah but just the actual fact of showing it and sharing it makes people want to do it make people like like okay well you know there's someone like me that wants to do this and has expendable income like two thousand dollars to spend on a gotcha game yeah and that's the whale aspect correct now the one i wanted to get into was uh arc the the creators of arc remember they made that pirate game um crap i can't uh i can't remember the name of it at this point but it was like it was like arc but it was like a, a, a pirate game, and you would... Uh, it was Ark colon pirates. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. But so what they did was they had a special day where they took all these big influencers on Twitch, yes, and they let them all play the game early. And so everybody saw it, and they're like, dude, this is awesome. I can't wait. And then everybody bought the game, and then... When the actual game was launched, it didn't work. And, nice. and so they created all this FOMO, all this hype uh, by using influencers. I guess FOMO is not the right term, but hype. They created all this hype using influencers. Interest. Interest. Yeah. And they used a server and a version of the game that wasn't even the actual game. They were playing on a different server designed for them. So when the actual game ran, it, it couldn't handle the players and it crashed for days and days. So these are, these are all very powerful things that work on people. Uh, obviously, it worked on me because I bought the game and I was waiting to play it. <laughs> um, so yeah, 
uh, just be aware of that. And then sunk cost. Loss aversion, once invested, feels bad to stop, pity, daily commissions. Um, so this is the sunk cost. Uh, people call it sunk cost fallacy because I think some people don't believe it's real, but it's real. If you invest a lot of time in something, you don't just want to throw it away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's why people stay married. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't bring this up. But yeah, jokes aside, this is a excellent infographic that this person made. Phenomenal. I think it's great. And um, it could, it could use a little bit more visual pizzazz. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> this, this. But, but I, but in, in terms of information and breaking everything down, I'll tell you right now, I've fallen for all of this. Yes, we I've both have. I've fallen for all of this. I've fallen for this through uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and uh, Let It Die. Mm -hmm. on the uh on the um playstation um i've i spent close to i think a hundred dollars on let it die and i found that difficult to stop until it was just too difficult like yeah. i like i literally kept dying and, and funny enough they're, they're coming out with a new let it die like expansion or something or other and brave xvs i spent like around 40 to 60 dollars and you know I've got nothing to show for it. Like I, I do, I still have that game on me. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, I'll download some games hoping it'll change. Uh, a good example is Near Reincarnation. I really love the Near Universe, and Near Reincarnation is the latest Gotcha game from Square Enix. Uh, and they did that thing where you're talking about in terms of FOMO. They currently have a Dragon Guard Three pre um, crossover, which I just got a notification for. Yeah, and I'm like. I haven't even started the game, and it's mostly because <laughs> it's a gotcha game, and yeah. I know it's going to lead down that same rabbit hole. Yeah. And I'm just like, why did I even download this? Why it's, am I doing this to myself? And But you know what it is? It's because they're like, you can only experience this story arc if Correct. you download this game. And, and people like you that are real fans don't want to miss out. It's, you're right. It is FOMO. Yeah. It really is. Um it's fr it's fr it's frustrating. It is um, it is very frustrating because I do want to experience the story. Like a good another good example is Kingdom Hearts, uh, cross chain memories like that uh, or uh, key Kingdom Hearts key back cover whatever it's called. Um, that game that mobile game actually played an integral part to the story. Mm -hmm. It's 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 actually kind of like a prequel to all of the Kingdom Hearts. Um, series in general and it even has a, like a close to two hour movie mm -hmm. within the kingdom hearts hd collection mm -hmm. as well as um a beautiful glorious call out in kingdom hearts 3 itself okay and so like that mobile gotcha game actually was an integral part to the kingdom Hearts story not, not 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 the most necessary. Don't get me wrong. I yeah. say integral, but I, and you you could avoid it, but at the same time, that it does play a part in its story. It's like part of the backbone. Yeah. Like, what can you do about that? Well, you know what? Just, that just 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 wait until some YouTuber exactly uh, or someone yes. goes ahead. And it's it's like, hey, here's a breakdown. Yeah. But but then you're not experiencing it, and you're not experiencing it with everyone else because I'll tell you right now. When Kingdom Hearts three, when when uh, that connection with Key happened, yeah, I was like, it hit my heart because I was actually part of the, the mobile, the mobile, the, game. yeah, I was, I was part of that mobile community that assisted, and it like it, it definitely has a greater impact when you are part of that community rather than experiencing that story through a third party. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Um, it is a big problem in gaming right now, and uh, it, it's sad to say, but as long as people keep giving their money, it's going to keep happening, you know? Um, <laughs> so me, I've checked out of that. I no longer uh, partake in that. Uh, for no, me, that's the, fair. I, I need yeah. to do the same. For me, the biggest game was Pokemon Go. I um, Now, granted, when it came out, it was very simplistic, So, but... Hey, if you're walking and you see a Pokemon you haven't gotten yet and you're out of balls and you can't go to a, a ball stop and get a free ball, you're going to buy it because you don't want to miss out on that Pokemon. You know what I mean? And that's what happened to me. And uh, so I spent over $100 on Pokeballs 
and um i did get a um uh what's it called um damn who does dratini turn into again bruh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, you're not a Pokemon player. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I didn't get into Pokemon yeah. Go like like y'all fools. I like, forget. Y'all were it, like, it's a big doing dragon. Pokemon parties. Yeah, it's a big dragon, and it's one of the best. Uh, it was it, in the first iteration of Pokemon Go. It was the most powerful Pokemon, right? So, so hundred dollars was worth it. So I guess because I would go to the little um, arenas and just put them up there and kick people's asses, but. <laughs> At the end of the day, I was like, this is not sustainable. I can't keep spending money, and I don't have time to go to a stop and get – because there was none near my house, right? Yes. So I was like, screw it. And and my house spawned all these amazing Pokemon. It was, it was so frustrating. Because you were out in the boonies, bro. I know. I would go walk my dog, and it was like Dratinis were everywhere, and people who live in the city – they could not get a Dratini to save their life. They would have to like go to the coast or something, right? So I was I was like swimming in Dratinis and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Because I lived near some water. That's yes. why that's why I was able to do it. But it was like crap, man. And and it just got so out of control. It really did. I, I even downloaded an app, uh, a program on my phone that that hacked into their API and it would show spawn points in a five mile radius of my house. Damn son. So I would like, I remember one night I saw a, um, sl- uh, not a slow poke, a, um, slip knot. <laughs> no, no, not, <laughs> not a slip knot, not a slip knot. Um, damn it. I'm, I'm forgetting all the names. The, 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 the big dude that falls asleep. Snorlax. Snorlax. I saw a Snorlax, which was very hard to find. And it, it it was in a neighborhood that was like down the street from my house. So it was like 10 at night. I jumped in my car, <laughs> drove there, and there was a line of cars for oh, people. Snap. Yes, yes. There was like four or five cars trying to catch this Snorlax. Were you able to get it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I got it. And and it, I was I felt really happy. But when I got home, my wife was like, what are you doing? <laughs> What are, you like, doing with your, what are you doing with your life, yeah, bro? She's like, where'd you go? I was like, I had to get this Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I wish you were like, I'm cheating on you. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was like a better lie. That was a more <laughs> logical explanation than I got to go drive down the street and get a Snorlax at 10 at night. <laughs> but but you see uh, this what the power it has over people. You know what I mean? It's yeah, real. Yeah. Yeah, it is yeah. real. So wait, so wait. Do you still have Pokemon Go on your phone? No, 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 no. I got rid of it, bro. You lost yeah. all those sweet Pokemon. No, 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 no. It's saved it's to my to uh, my Google account. Yeah. So there. if I download it again, I can still get it. But the point is, it's not sustainable. Yeah. It's not sustainable long term. It's a waste of money. You're gonna run out of money. It's much better to just buy a Pokemon game and play it. You know, spend however forty hours you want into it, and then that's it, right? It's it's just much more economical for the gamer. It's a better use of your time as well. So, um, yeah, just people be aware that these things are very powerful forces that that basically tap into your 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 reward system, you know, and make you want to do these things. So it's it's very important. This is a very good public service announcement by this guy. And I really believe that this type of stuff is going to be taught in, you know, like psychology class. You know what I mean? Like They need to. I mean, yeah. honestly, with the, uh, the fight against EA in Europe uh, over their predatory uh, loot boxes system. Ultimate teams. It, it, this is, this is, uh, uh, falls under that similar vein. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yes, no, uh, you know, they're, they're playing into the psychology of people and honestly it's being monetized in such a way that they're getting away with this kind of murder. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, and, and it really preys on young people that don't know better. Uh, but also on anyone that, um, that, that is susceptible. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Um, so, so the, the, there needs to be a better way of policing these kinds of predatory practices. Yes, you're right, and that only comes from 
a uh, government intervention. A government that can which that can actually do gambling, it. Which is why gambling is the way it is. You can't just gamble anywhere. I, yes, because mm. it would destroy society. <laughs> You know what I mean? And so you have a young, a young, impressionable generation of kids that are growing up essentially gambling Gamblers. in these games. Yeah. So yeah. it's not good. It's not good. And it has it really does have to be addressed. I'm not saying shut it down, but what I am saying is it's gotta be regulated. It it really does. Um so uh yeah, that's that's that i think we covered a lot there hey everyone thanks for listening to this episode of games i speak if you like the episode please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time